A company buys a new bulldozer for $103,450. The company depreciates the bulldozer linearly over its useful life of 19 years. Its salvage value at the end of 19 years is $19,850. Depreciation is the decrease or loss in value of equipment due to age, wear, or market conditions. For Part A, we're asked to express the value of the bulldozer V as a function of how many years old it is, which is T. Often, a linear function is given in the form of f of x equals mx plus b, or f of x equals b plus mx, where x is the input variable, m is equal to the slope, which is the constant rate of change, and b is the vertical intercept, which is also the initial or starting amount. But because our function is v of t, let's find the equation in the form v of t equals, let's use this form here, so we'd have b plus mt. Again, the input variable is t, not x. Now for the next step, let's write the given information as ordered pairs, where each ordered pair is going to be in the form of the input, comma, the output, which in this case will be t, comma, v of t, where t is the age of the bulldozer, and v of t is the value. So brand new, the bulldozer cost $103,450, which means as an ordered pair, this would be 0, comma, 103,450. And then we're told, after 19 years, the value is $19,850. So the ordered pair would be 19, comma, 19,850. Now let's determine the value of B, where again, B is the initial or starting amount, which in this case is the cost of the new bulldozer. B is equal to $103,450. The value of B is always the function value when the input is zero. And now to determine the constant rate of change, which in this case would be the amount of depreciation per year, we need to determine the change in the value divided by the change in the number of years. So for this situation, the change in the output divided by the change in the input is equal to the change in the value divided by the change in the years. To find the change, we'll take the values from the second ordered pair and subtract the values from the first ordered pair. So the change in value is going to be 19,850 minus 103,450 divided by the change in the number of years is 19 minus zero. So M is equal to negative 83,600 divided by 19, which is equal to negative 4,400. So M is equal to negative 4,400, and the units would be dollars per year. Notice how the slope is negative which should make sense because this is telling us the value is decreasing by $4,400 each year, or the bulldozer is being depreciated $4,400 per year. So now we have all the information we need in order to write our equation for V of T. We now know that V of T is equal to 103,450 and then instead of writing plus negative 4,400t, let's write minus 4,400t. So this is the answer to part A. Now for part B, we're asked to determine the value of the bulldozer after 17 years. So now we need to find the function value V of 17. So we'd have 103,450 minus 4,400 times 17. Let's evaluate this on the calculator. So 103,450 minus 4,400 times 17, which gives us 28,650. And of course, the units here would be dollars. 
So for part B, because we already have the dollar sign here, we only enter 28,650. I hope you found this helpful.